Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a massive, massive haul for you. We were out of literally everything from Costco and I've been putting off going. I wanted to make it through the holidays, make it through Valentine's Day, and so I decided to go ahead and head to Costco and I also did some shopping at my local grocery store as well. Lots of great deals, new food finds, so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. This is what I follow to lose 140 pounds and maintain that weight loss for over a year. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, questions, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free and we would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this massive grocery haul. So here is everything that I picked up for my massive haul from Costco. $400 later, I'm out of that store, which is insane. But what you don't see is a case of water and a case of Gatorade Zero. So we needed paper towels and Bounty was on sale, so it was actually cheaper than the Kirkland brand. So I picked that up. And then we always buy these when they come back in stock, the little set of four. Aim and Flame, because we use these to light candles and things in our house. And this was only $7.89, which at my local store, each one of these is like $5. So that's a really good deal. And then I did get Troy this really nice golf shirt from Callaway for Valentine's Day. I didn't get him anything other than a card. And I saw this and I thought that he would really like that. So I picked that up. This is something new. I've never seen this before. This is from the brand Lemon Perfect. And this is Hydrating Lemon Water. There's Original Lemon, Dragon Fruit Mango, Peach Raspberry, and Watermelon. Zero sugar organic, only five calories each. And I thought this would be really nice because it does have electrolytes and things in there. So it's perfect post a workout. I want to say it was just under $18 for 15. So a little over a dollar a bottle, not bad at all. I got some more peanut butter for Troy. We still have almost one full container, but I don't plan to go back to Costco for at least a month or longer. So I picked that up. A few people in my Facebook group mentioned how amazing this is. So I decided to go ahead and grab it. The macros, on this is so good. It's only 120 calories per serving, five grams of fat, 19 grams of protein. And the only seasoning in here and the only ingredients is beef sirloin, steak seasoning, sugar, and sea salt. So this is grass fed, grass finished meat. So I thought that would be just a really easy lunch or dinner. It's fully cooked, ready to go. And you guys have been raving about it. So I'm excited to try that. And then I did pick up a big bundle of bananas. I've been really into bananas lately. I also grabbed toilet paper uh, per usual from Costco and bought a lot of dog treats. So they had these dog delights, duck sticks. All of these treats have really good ingredients. These were only $12.99. So I went ahead and picked up two bags of those. And then they had this natural superfood stick, salmon and mango. Also, really good ingredients. Made in the USA, only $9.99. And then they had beef liver strips. So I thought my dogs would really like that. It's 100% beef liver, no fillers. Single ingredient dog treat. So I grabbed those. There's one more that I'll show you when we move to the other side of the hall. I really like these Amy Lou chicken breakfast sausages. These are on coupon as well perfectly clean ingredients, 12 grams of protein, 130 calories, and three links. So this is going to be perfect for my protein bowl that I love to make. And then I did grab English muffins because you get four packs for $9. So that's a really good deal. Tori and I eat English muffins all the time. So we'll definitely go through those. I just typically throw a pack in my freezer. I was out of quinoa and you can't beat the price at Costco. This huge bag's only $8.99 and it's organic. And then this bread, Troy really, really likes. So this is a Sara Lee Artisano, Artisano, I don't know how you pronounce that bread, but it's super, super, super soft. So I grabbed that for him. One loaf will go in the freezer and one loaf into the bread box. And then I also grabbed tortillas for him. I do the same thing with these. I throw one pack in the freezer and when he's ready, they're in the freezer ready to go. And these are, were, I wanna say $4.79. And I just mentioned how expensive tortillas were in my last grocery haul. So that deal I couldn't pass up. I also did a restock on Kleenex because since I've been sick, I've literally went through a box of Kleenex every single day. Oikos triple zero yogurt is on coupon. So I grabbed it. I like Oikos and Chobani zero sugar. Those are my 
all-time favorite, so I couldn't pass that up. And then I grabbed this for my yogurt. So this is from the brand Seven Sundays. It's a real cocoa, 100% real food, no refined sugar, gluten-free, grain-free sunflower cereal. Now the guy at the register said he's been seeing a lot of people buy this and he asked if I tried it and I told him no, but I thought this would be perfect to top my yogurt. So one cup's only 150 calories and it has four grams of protein. And look at these ingredients. Cassava, upcycled sunflower protein, date, coconut oil, cocoa powder, coconut sugar, vanilla extract, sea salt. That's it. So you could have this as cereal or what I'm going to do is just put maybe a quarter cup on top of my yogurt bowl. It'll give me a gram of protein, but it'll be a really nice chocolatey crunch. I'm super excited about that. I want to say it was $9.99. I also grabbed a restock of my Chosen Foods mayonnaise. Nice clean ingredients. We love that mayo. And then I also got the Chosen Foods avocado oil spray. That's my favorite. I grabbed some more bounce fabric softeners and Tide Pods. They had a thing where if you bought both of these together, you got a $10 gift card. So couldn't pass that deal up and we actually needed both items. And then I picked up another one of the Cascade dishwasher detergent. This is what we use. We don't use the pods. We actually prefer the gel and we're about halfway through ours. So I grabbed that. And then one more dog treat over here are the Doggy Delirious Turkey and Sweet Potato Biscuits. These have nice clean ingredients as well. They're all natural. They're actually human grade, which is crazy. And you get 170 of them for a $9.99. This was a new find. This is from the brand Truffets de France. And it's the white chocolate raspberry truffles. Look how good those look. But look at this macros six of them for 190 calories. So I thought I would just have maybe one or two as a sweet treat. Pretty darn good ingredients as well. And I do love a white chocolate raspberry. These were also $9.99. Troy loves the Yasso bar. So I grabbed that. That's on coupon as well. $7.99 for 15 bars. And you pay $5.99, $6.99 for four or five bars at the grocery store. So if you like the Yasso bars, that is the only flavor they have, but they're on coupon right now. Also on coupon, are the Alani Munchies protein shakes. These are $11.99 for 12. So killer deal, 20 grams of protein, 140 calories. These do not have carrageenan. So if you are mindful of carrageenan, Alani is a great option. And then lastly is two two packs, <laughs> the four bean salad. This is Troy's very favorite thing. $8.99 for two of them. Really great deal. So that is everything for this massive, massive haul from Costco. So here is my grocery haul from Fry's, my local Kroger store for the week. I have a, some new food finds and I got some amazing, amazing deals. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. The thing I needed was some chicken stock for a couple of different dinner recipes. And I had a coupon from Fry's for the brand Kitchen Basics. I've actually never used this brand before, but chicken stock is chicken stock. And then I did stop by the reduced bakery section. I found these apple turnovers. We like to have a sweet treat on hand. Troy likes to have these. I like to have these. So I always stop by their bakery section. And then I also found the lemon, half of a lemon bundt cake for 50% off. So it was like $2.50. And I want to say that these were $2.25. So really, really good deal if you can find some reduced bakery items. And then we know that I've been sick. So I picked up a few more medicine things. Some more of the Ricola lemon mint sugar-free cough drops. These are my favorite. I really, really like these. And then Rachel, my girlfriend, recommended Zycam. So I decided to get the Rapid Melts. Now, I don't know if this is going to work since I'm already full-blown into my cold, but I picked them up. That way we have them in case we get a cold again, which knock on wood, we don't. And then I did a refill of my Dayquil, though that has been a staple for me as well. I also was completely out of cocoa powder for baking after I made my protein brownies this last week. So I did a restock of cocoa powder and I'm also out of sweet relish and I like to put sweet relish in my tuna salad. And I've been making tuna salad and egg salad a lot. So I grabbed a refill and then another big stack of paper plates. I also had a coupon for the Kroger brand of paper plates. I needed some crispy rice cereal for my meal prep. I'm making this really good kind of chocolate coated crispy rice bar. Stay tuned for what is on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep right after the grocery haul. Killer deal on meat. They had so much amazing reduced meat. There were quite a few people there picking it up. So I quickly grabbed the things I wanted. This is a two pound package of 93, seven ground beef for $4 and 90 cents. That is an incredible deal. I picked up two. There were four and a lady already grabbed two before I could get there. So I picked up the last two of those. And I also saw these 93.7 beef patties. I like to have these on hand for a quick, easy lunch or dinner. These were 584. And then I did found a 
I did find a pack of 96 for ground beef for $5.27. And I love the Laura's. There's no antibiotics, no weird ingredients in the Laura's beef. And this is 92.8 for $5.60. Sometimes I can get this a little bit cheaper, but I still grabbed the two that they had reduced. And then they also had a couple pounds of 85.15 organic ground beef for $4.49. And I actually had an additional dollar off coupon. So that was a steal. So I picked up two of those. This is the cut of ground beef that I use for Troy. So I always like to have that on hand. Don't sleep on your meat section at Kroger stores. Definitely check them for any reduced meats. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week. He does typically go through a couple gallons every week. And then I got a lot of cheese because we're completely out of shredded cheese. So I have one of the reduced fat Mexican blend. I actually need that for my meal prep. And then I needed mozzarella cheese as well. And then I got some reduced fat sharp cheddar. I really like sharp cheddar cheese. So sometimes I like to use the Mexican blend. Sometimes I like to use sharp cheddar. And then I did get some just full fat mild cheddar as well. I needed cubed ham for a dinner recipe. And I actually had a coupon for this brand. So that was a, that was perfect timing to pick that up. I also had an expiring coupon for the private selection beef patties. So I got these for Troy. They're just frozen hamburger patties. We like to throw these on our Blackstone grill. We grill up tur turkey burgers for me, sausages, patties for him. So I picked those up. They're in the freezer section. So I will just throw them in the freezer until we need them. I also was completely out of baking soda. So I did a restock of that. And these were new. So they actually had light and fit Oikos and these two good. All two good yogurts are 99 cents when you buy five. So I picked up five. I'm so excited to try these. They are like the Chobani Flip, but the two good brand. So this one is banana dark chocolate honey. And then I got two of the strawberry dark chocolate almond and two of the blueberry oatmeal crisp. Six grams of sugar, about 130 calories, and 10 grams of protein. I am seriously so excited to try those out. I definitely want to try the Oikos and the Light and Fit as well. Let me know in the comments if you tried them and what you think of them. No surprise to anybody, a refill of my Simply Hash Browns. I love these for my breakfast protein bowls. I do have a reel on Instagram on how I make my protein bowls if you wanna know exactly what I put in them. I also needed some whole milk for a recipe and then whatever is left over, Troy always just drinks the remainder. I needed some frozen mixed vegetables for my lunch meal prep and some frozen broccoli for a dinner recipe. Baby spinach for a couple of recipes. Basil, I love fresh basil. I even like to chop this up and put it in my salad. It just adds such a nice flavor. And then right now at Kroger stores, these big packs of blueberries are $1.99. That's an incredible deal. So I had to go ahead and grab two of those. Cherry tomatoes, this is also for a dinner recipe. A couple of yellow onions and a red onion. Their red onions were huge. This is literally the smallest one that I could find. So we are, are gonna have red onions for days. And then I needed russet potatoes for a dinner recipe. So I picked up four. And lastly, some celery. I needed it for a recipe. And I like to do celery and peanut butter or celery and dip. The only other thing I picked up from Kroger is two 24 packs of Diet Coke. Their Coke brand 24 packs are $8.99, which is a great deal. So I picked up two of those for Troy. So here's what's on my menu for the week. I'm using a new shopping list meal planner. I don't like it as much as my other one, but the one I had before is no longer available on Amazon. So I just kind of jotted down what's on my menu for dinners here. So I'm making a cheesy ground chicken skillet, ham and broccoli scallop potatoes, and then we have a salad kit a Caesar salad kit with the real chicken nuggets for another night. And then for my breakfast meal prep, I'm going to be doing cottage cheese egg bites. I'm actually really excited for these. Nice high protein breakfast. Lunch is going to be chicken pot pie soup. Also soup sounds really good. And then for a dessert or a snack, I'm making homemade crunch bars. So these are kind of like a chocolate covered peanut butter rice crispy treat. Really excited for those too. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's massive haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for the week. I feel really good to be restocked on our Costco staples. Again, really good deals, new food finds. It was a great haul. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends. Have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.